From FNNO.com, this is the Financial News Network. I'm Chuck Pierce. Here's a few things to watch for in the financial world today, December 12th. BHP Billiton striking a deal with PetroChina over a natural gas project in Australia. The energy and mining company agreed to sell a minority stake in the project for $1.63 billion after it deemed the site a non-strategic asset. This was due to the estimated $30 billion it would cost to build infrastructure. But PetroChina is willing to foot the bill during a time when energy companies in China are vying for foreign oil and gas supplies to meet rising demand. The sale remains in the hands of joint venture partners who, as of right now, are choosing to not exercise rights to match the offer from PetroChina. Costco announcing excellent first quarter earnings going into a busy holiday season. The wholesale retailer posted earnings per share of 95 cents, higher than the 93 cents analysts were expecting. Revenue for the quarter rose 9.5 percent to $23.2 billion, but missed on the consensus estimate of $23.7 billion. The increase in revenue in EPS indicates a 30 percent rise in profits, which Costco says is mostly due to higher membership fees and a rise in comparable store sales. The company also plans to give it back to its stockholders by issuing a special dividend worth $7 per share. Finally, Urban Outfitters in the news after it announced yesterday its fourth quarter same-store sales are up as the holiday season continues. So far, numbers indicate a percentage increase in the high single digits, which is a good thing after the company posted third quarter results in November that fell just short of expectations. This isn't the only thing in the news, though. Apparently, the store's catalog, which features a few F-bombs and other profanity on some of its products, is sparking some controversy. Although many parents and shoppers might be upset about this, business professionals see it as a great marketing ploy and also some great free advertising on news outlets like this one. Those were a few things to watch out for here on the Financial News Network. For more coverage and analysis of the business world, follow us on Twitter at FNN Online or check out our website at FNNO.com.